This shape will last and it flatters my face super nicely and it will probably flatter yours too. Fuck yeah. There we go, that's the eye. Fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and no! finish the rest Got of the it. Piece. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Thank you so much for coming and checking out my channel. So I've been seeing a lot of people who are not beauty gurus, me, doing the I tried to follow a beauty gurus tutorial. And I want to get this off of my chest right now. I have never put makeup on in my life. I've never put makeup on my face. I've never put makeup on any of my friends. So by the end of this video, I'm going to look like an idiot no matter what. The reason I want to do this video is because I ask myself all the time, what's something funny that also deals with an issue or concept that I'm passionate about? And although I'm not passionate about makeup, I am very passionate about breaking down society's views on gender roles. When I got the idea for this video, I had been watching some James Charles with my friend Kalia because she's fucking amazing at makeup and she's always watching beauty channels. And I got inspired by how perfect and I got <laughs> I got inspired by how professional and how talented is my goodness. And I got inspired by how professional and how talented he is at such a young age. And I love that he's doing his part to help break down these gender norms that men don't wear makeup because that's ridiculous to think. First of all, men wear makeup in Hollywood all the fucking time. And men all over the world wear makeup every day. And I honestly feel like people need to understand that makeup and clothing does not have a gender. So thank you, James Charles, for starting to help the world realize that. So I decided to follow a James Charles makeup tutorial. Like I said before, I'm nowhere near a makeup guru. And I'm literally going to leave this video looking like Drake and Yzma had a baby. But also as I was watching other YouTube videos to get ready to film my video, I heard the words let it bake way too many fucking times while all of these people were just doing their makeup. And you know, that got me hungry, which got me thinking, hey, where do you cook up a good face? I know you need a roadmap for this one, the kitchen. So I'm going to attempt to follow a James Charles makeup tutorial using just kitchen utensils. So I ran down to the nearest non drug store and picked up everything we need to chisel out this face. <laughs> gonna take a lot of work. I want every one of you to know that going out and getting this makeup was very stressful. But I think I did better than I thought I was going to. Why the fuck you lying? Then I had a really hard time deciding if people still wore mascara in 2018 or not. Then right when I decided to buy some, a hot guy walked by and I tried to act cool as fuck grabbing mascara off the shelf. Do I need the mascara? No. No, I don't need the mascara. I need the mascara. You know what? I have nothing to lose. I think men should be able to wear makeup and it not be a big deal. So that's why I'm doing this video. Thank you, James Charles, for everything that you do and congratulations on all the success. And let's just get in to this fuckery. And honestly, everything that I have here, I bought at the drugstore. I asked my little sister if I could use her makeup. She was like, what for? I was like, I'm gonna follow a James Charles makeup tutorial using kitchen supply. And I was at the drugstore 20 minutes later. So hopefully I have everything we need. And if we don't, well, I'm gonna look ridiculous because I'm just gonna make it work. Like I'm not gonna look ridiculous anyways. By the way, you guys, I don't have a mirror, so I'm gonna be using my camera to see myself. So we're gonna be getting a little close. I have no idea what products that I have are even on this face. All right, hello sisters. So to start off this video today, I have my base and eyebrows already done. Y'all have seen me do them a million times and I'll be doing an updated brow routine soon. So keep your eyes Wait. peeled. So I thought we'd just like focus. What? I started off by priming my face today using my Benefit Professional Primer. And he uses primer. I personally don't know what primer is or what primer does, but when I say it, I sound bougie as fuck. So it's probably my favorite product here. So he basically just put it in his hands and then rubbed it on his face. I mean. How hard can it be? Okay, so now I just feel what it's kind of bur it's ooh, it's kind of burning a little bit. You know what? I'm gonna give it a little dry. There we go. For foundation today, I'm gonna be using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick in the shade Y315. When I say foundation, I feel like I'm Bob the Builder and I've literally never built anything in my entire life, so I really can't relate. So I know what you're thinking. Dayton, when I do my makeup at home using only kitchen utensils, I use a giant spoon to put on my foundation. No. We want to cover as much surface area as possible and as little time as possible. So we have a ladle. I love this foundation for the summertime because it is oil-based, but it's super dewy. <laughs> I don't know if mine's oil based, but I guess you could say it looks dewy. You just want to get a good amount on there and then just bam! And then get a little bit more, then bam! It sets on the skin really nicely. It looks like natural skin. Yeah, it does. Too. I'm now gonna take my damp beauty blender and just blend this into the skin super seamlessly. So let's just get that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> kind of working. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> I thought this might be my shade. Once again, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, what's next? I'm now gonna take my 
I damp Beauty Blender and just blend this into the skin super seamlessly. That was not seamlessly. I'm not gonna go ahead and highlight and conceal my face using the Too Faced Formless White Concealer in the shade Light. I got concealer. I have no idea what the fuck it's for, but let's just hope this concealer is my healer. We ain't using this. Two picks, bitch. What the hell would you use? Brand new. I've never used them before, but everyone's been saying amazing things about them, so I'm very excited to try them out. This is my first time ever using it on my face. Me so. too. Here we go. Here we go. One really thin line down the tip of my nose. I've been practicing my nose contour lately. Still not a pro at it. Uh, my nose is One line down your nose? Okay. I look fucking awful. Taking my damp beauty blender, I'm gonna blend this into the skin. I really like how this is blending out. This is really nice. Me too. Hmm. To set my face today, I'm gonna be using Cody Airsplum Powder and my Morphe E41 brush. I, I have that. Kalia told me I couldn't leave the store without this stuff. To set my face today, I'm gonna be using Cody Airsplum Powder and my Morphe E41 brush. Okay, so to set my face today, I'm gonna be using my, what he said, and an all-time favorite of mine, the butter brush. See, that's the beauty of YouTube. You buy one of these things and you only use it once a year, but you go on YouTube and watch one makeup tutorial and all of a sudden you're using it 365 days a year to put on your setting powder. I will never feel guilty about spending this 88 cents. To bronze my face today, I'm gonna be using my Benefit. So I got some natural bronzer. Once again, we're gonna be using our handy dandy Butter Brush 3000. Cause why the extra struggle? And my Morphe M435 brush. This brush is my holy frickin' grail. Okay. He's going so fast. Is it working? All right, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna attempt to contour my nose. Please wish me luck. This shit is okay. so hard. I can fix this. I can fix this entire look with my nose. So we're gonna dip my Betty Crocker Cutter 3000 right into the color brown there. Oh, fuck. I'm using my Hula Bronzer. Oh, I'm not gonna panic. We can fix this. We can fix this. So he took his bronzer, so I'm gonna take a little bit of my bronzer too. Fuck me up. What do you think? Does my nose make the cut? I love how my sweatshirt says thugger and I'm here putting bronzer on my nose with a pizza cutter. Hey yo, Derek. Yo, what you need, dog? Bring me my bronzer and my foundation. I'm following a James Charles makeup tutorial. Put kitchen utensils. I'm with the face for now, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in so we can do the eyebrows. Eyebrows. Okay. I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown as usual and my Anastasia I don't... We're going back to toothpick. Should be where your brow is darkest, so um, <laughs> you're gonna want the most product in this region. Okay. I'm just taking the excess product that's left on the brush and I'm making little flippity doodahs in the front of the brow. Flippity doodahs? Flippity doodahs in the front of the brow. Like that? This did not come out as bad as I was expecting. Mine did. Now I'm gonna go in and clean up the bottom of the brow. I'm gonna, like I said before, you really wanna start in the middle of the brow and blend outwards as opposed to just starting from I put too much. It will help you blend nicer and make it look really, really natural and just defined as opposed to a white line underneath your brow, which never, ever, ever is cute. Honestly, this makes no fucking sense. Oh, so I absolutely love it. The shape of lashes. So I got lashes just in case. You know what? Fuck it. We can do this. For lashes today, I'm gonna be applying Esquito Lash Napolitan lashes. So for lashes today, I'm gonna be applying the cheapest lash I could find. I really love the shape of lash and it flatters my face super nicely and it will probably flatter yours too. I'm such a fucking idiot. There we go. That's the eye. Fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and no. My face today. I'm gonna be using a mix of two. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Fuck me up. Did you try putting an eyelash on with these bad boys? Time for number two. I'm never gonna get this on with my left hand. That's the eyes completed. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out now so we can finish the rest of the face. Time for my face today. I'm gonna be using a mix of two Anastasia shades from their glow kit. So I am gonna use our butter brush once again. I'm applying these with a damp Morphe M501 brush. I absolutely love this brush for highlighting. It's so nice and so precise. Well, James, some of us just don't have that luxury. Was I supposed to put that on my forehead? Oh no. I can do that. Bam, 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 bam. We got homemade freckles. I look like I have a serious skin disorder. For my lips today, I'm gonna be going with Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Purple Rain. Purple Rain? I am doing a terrible job. Bam! Hey, yo, Darius. What? No. Come check out my lipstick. Oh my God. I do kind of look like if Drake and Yzma had a baby. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed 
guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun getting back into the swing of things and filming for you guys now that I have- We're done? <laughs> There is no way that I'm supposed to look like this by the end of this video. Or am I actually killing it? I mean, look at my highlight. The hoes are laughing. I feel like I could go out with this and never be seen again because I die of embarrassment. Well, that's all I got for you. If you guys enjoyed this one and want to do this look for yourself, don't. If you guys enjoyed any part of this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Hopefully I didn't scare off your children. Be sure to subscribe so you can come back and watch some more of this fuckery that I get into. But before I go, let's at least show off the entire finished look. I wanna be so much for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.